Welcome back to the Daily Close. It is your boy here, Crypto Pleb. Just coming at you again with a little bit of technical analysis. Uh, it's just me here today because, uh, you know, we're a little bit uh, busy right now. But, you know, I thought that would be good if we have a quick update on the market, see how things are moving about because there is some interesting price action going on. But um, as always, it's not technical advice. So, you know, play it safe, do your own research. But keep, you know, liking, subscribing, you know, hit that bell notification and, you know, uh, please give us a comment. We love the comments. We'll keep getting back, back to you. But let's just quickly run on over to, um, to Bitcoin here. So, uh, yeah, just the technical analysis, we usually like to start off with a uh, read on the market cap dominance or how much uh, Bitcoin is uh, you know, owned or uh, how much money is in Bitcoin compared to the other assets in the market? Um, and right now we're just kind of bouncing off you know, the 41% range here. Uh, well, bouncing off gap, but we're just hitting our uh, at the 41%, 40, 41% right now, at least here on the uh, on the monthly time frame here. Um, now moving over to the daily as well, uh, a little bit more current timelines here and we are seeing you know yeah coming up yeah so like so before coming off the 40 starting to make a small slight bounce here seems to be this tends to be the strong line here um yeah right at that 41.66 line and you know, we're just seeing like, yeah, you know, for like system volume along, you know, moving average. Um, so the activity is staying pretty consistent. However, the current uh, buying pressure is starting to slow down, as we can see from the uh, volume here, which also can be reflected in the PPWP as we see the bulge bands are now starting to contract. Um, and uh, perhaps we might. Um, you know, this could be a signal this might just uh, not go up much further from here. Perhaps if we see anything here, that's probably, you know, we might see people starting to get back into the altcoins here um, in a moment. But at least we can see that we are flying up on the Stokes right now, but we're still uh, in the bullish area, but we have not quite gone into the overbought area. Of course, it, you know, just because it's overbought doesn't mean it's, it's gonna bounce back immediately. It might just stay there for a while. So we just have to see how the market plays out until then. So I think that what this uh, Bitcoin down shows is that because we have more money going into Bitcoin, which you know we can kind of see as more or less a reserve currency, um, you know, or very mature, uh, asset, it could just be a very big indication that there's a lot more trepidation in the market. And this is obviously well personified and many of the assets I have listed out here, where we have yet again, another uh, you know, dump going on. Um, last couple of days, it seems the market's been quite uh, volatile. But let's move on over to Bitcoin itself, the core assets itself. And we can just go up here to, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at the, let's see here. There we go. The one month here. And here on the one month chart. Yeah, I mean, you know, not too bad. I mean, we're just kind of bouncing off this previous level here for the 47. 48,000 right now, we're at 49,000, but uh, we kind of bought back up this past month after we hit a low of 42,000, which is quite a shock here. But, um, you know, from everything here, you know, Stokes are pointing down. We might have a little bit more downside coming. I mean, we, we are down 3%, so that is indicative. Um, you know, just over these past couple of days, we did have our plummet here, and then it's been um, the activities we're seeing kind of consistently, um, you know, at least until 
October was quite bullish. We experienced quite a bit more bearish activity, but we do see the bullish band starting to constrict as our price action for the past uh, number of days is just showing less and less money going in. Probably the likelihood that people are not jumping in as often or it's not just not a lot of interest. And this might be reflected back into the VPVR. Yeah, this range here, I mean, obviously there was more interest, much, much down lower at the lower prices here. Um, there's just not a lot of confidence up at this level. Uh, if we spread it open here, uh, still here on the monthly, and we're seeing a lot of the same kind of action going on. Yeah, and our point, yeah, point control is still quite far down, at least in the monthly, but that's taking in entirely the data um, of, you know, since the inception of Bitcoin. So, uh, or as far back as it can be. You know, currently the relative strength index here as well, bouncing off of this 12 day moving average. That is probably a uh, bullish, sorry, bearish sign. And we are having stokes pointing downward. So at least on the monthly, you know, we are seeing a little bit of um, downward pressure, uh, but, you know, some consolidation as it's not a whole lot of interest to sell it back down quite yet. Again, just not a whole lot of activity. Let's see in the CT Mac, taking a look at our, you know, moving averages here, uh, you know, the 215589 uh, that got going on. I and mean, we're still vastly above uh, the 200 EMA SMA. Uh, we are trading above uh, this 21 moving average here too. Actually, let me make sure that is correct. That's my nine day moving average. 21 is the orange. So the nine day moving average and 21 day moving average. You know, we are trading above these, and that is a, um, at least that is good. Um, over the long run, this is a positive sign. Uh, we are still in a, a uptrend here as well. So uh, the short term might be, you know, reflected in price action. It was a bit of fear, but the uh, long term, it is a good, you know, a good buy. So, I mean, if we go down to the daily, just to quickly run through these, see how the prices are looking. Yes. Um, and just for our, as you can see here, purple's the 200 EMA, and the white is the simple moving average. Uh, it's only that the nine is starting to pass under the um, uh, EMA here. So that is a negative sign. That is a bearish sign. So. There is going to be some cause for concern coming up here as well. We are pointing down in the Stokes as well. I have a cross here, relative strength index, not a whole lot of strength. There is a, a lower highs moving down consistently. And the points we go past or under this 12-day um, moving average, that could be not a very good sign. Obviously, there's a lot of activity pushing down the cell pressure. The uh, bears are taking the fight right now. But of course, the cell pressure isn't, is also dog off as well too. So um, yeah, looking at this, once this points down, and then the BBWP is probably just a uh, lack of interest to sell it down, less activity. This might start to slow down and you might see a bit of consolidation at this level. This level means 48,000, about 40, so yeah, about 48,000 this range here. So, you know, if we want to see what our predictions for price might be, you know, you take our Bollinger Bands, sorry, not Bollinger Bands, our fib retracement line here as well. And you know, we did more or less get a slight bounce off here, off of our 46,000 before going back up to test again at the 50,000. And that right now here, it may very well. Um, you know, if we move the close to keep the upper pattern, we wanna see it start closing up above this here, 51,000 again. So we can start seeing, um, you know, ideally a bit of a trend reversal, but I wouldn't see that coming anytime soon because 
We are not looking good on the Stokes strength either. Um, and because our BBWP is price agnostic, we might just see this actually just go down tomorrow as well. Um, so let's see what we're going to do off of this. Let's go back and just go a little bit lower. We can check out the four hour as well. Still, we are actually, yeah, I mean, here we are getting a slight you know, higher on this. Yeah, I mean, here in the long run, you might be able to see this and hopefully this next higher low holds for the next you know, couple 12 hours or so. Um, we can start forming a bit more of a uh, a higher trend, upper trend. However, yes, we are because all day on BWP. And so, and we want to see this kind of cross back up if we want to, you know, start seeing a bit more action pointing upward here as well on the Stokes. We are still, I mean, we're in the bearish control zone, but we still haven't like, gotten to the over oversold yet. Okay, there's a little bit more ways to go. Relative strength index. We are in the bearish area, but if we could turn it back up, we might be able to go back to a bit more neutral space. And let's see here. Yeah, I mean, maybe in the shortest time here on the four hour, you could probably uh, even add a fib here, swing low, the swing high. And this is just at the smallest time from here. So maybe if you want to trade on a, a shorter time frame, this might be. A way to go into it, but yes, you can see the consolidation starting to deform between the 51, 51,000 and the 46,000 here as well. And yeah, I mean, yeah, here, I mean, if this holds and we start going back to the upper side, then that might be a, a potential short term uh, move upward. We do want to see the Stokes turn back up though. Um, and right now, yeah, you know, the BBWP, we're still in the, uh, into the towards this consolidation area. So you know, there's probably not gonna be a huge amount of movement coming yet. Um, just, you know, still continual indecision in the market. So I mean, yeah, in the long run, still good. Still a strong asset, nothing to be horribly afraid of. But I would expect to see a bit more downside um, slightly over the couple, next couple of days, if not just mostly um, you know, consolidation um, or just you know, lateral sit sideways movement as it's not a whole, as the you know, buy and sell pressure either isn't there or is equal. Um, actually, I also want to pull up the VPVR here as well. Yeah, we're bouncing right off the point of control. A lot of interest in this area, not much interest to go up or down. This should consolidate. Okay, so that is BTC here. Now, taking a look at ETH, let's see. Let's go back up to the higher time frame. This one I'll just go through very, very quickly. Yeah, and here, I mean, yeah, Pure uptrend, not bad at all. Um, at least in the month of the Stokes are starting to point down. Um, then there are a bit more in the neutral zone here, the BWP. Um, we're heading down towards a bit more consolidation. So not a whole lot of activity going in. Yes, we can see that here in the volume with the uh, buy and sell pressure lower, much lower than the moving average. Uh, RSI saying that we have had, we are overbought and we are heading back down. We might see a bit more downside here, uh, perhaps um, as we creep into later in the month, perhaps this could be due to people pulling out money for Christmas presents. Could be a lot of people are just trying to 
Um, I was just a bit wary of the market. So if we move down here, actually before we move over, it's actually creepy. Let's get open the CT Mac. Mac, yeah, still above the 921 and uh, 55 day. So that's very bullish as well. So I mean, long-term bullish as always. You know, we do want to pull up a short time frame to see what we're looking like on the daily. Daily here, I'm just gonna clean this up so we can see it more clearly. But yeah, I mean, yeah, so on the daily, we are certainly getting lower highs. Sorry, higher lows. This is hard to tell because we're kind of more or less consolidating here. So we do, but we are higher than this previous low. So that's gonna be a good sign. But yeah, as I was saying, the consolidation is real. Uh, it is very clearly shown here on BBWP as well, but we might start getting a bit more price um, action, a bit more interest coming in. This is agnostic, price agno uh, direction agnostic. So um, yeah, we do see a high amount of sell pressure that's come in. Uh, that started to pull the BWP back up. Here, we got a downward direction for the Stoke. So we, it would be too surprising to see it go down, but there's not a whole lot of strength to it here. We're just barely getting into the bearish control zone in that sense. And so I mean, if we like, we're look at this. Let's look at the VPVR as well. So at least here in the near term for the daily. Yeah, I mean, we're a little bit, we are below the point of control here. Um, so being below that is often hard. I mean, it works as a good uh, point of resistance and support. So being below that is of concern. Um, I should just get this back on to see that. Yeah, 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 we're definitely below that. If we get onto the FIB to see what kind of price levels we're looking at here. Yeah, so I mean, I mean yeah, the consolidation is really just gonna, it looks like the consolidation is really gonna continue um, between the you know, 4,800 uh, and at the lowest, maybe 3,786. You know, perhaps what we're looking at here, and we are seeing, in at least the very, very recent time frame from November 2nd, 9th till today, you know, we're going to be seeing a bit more, you know, yeah, lower highs and lower lows. So this is, you know, the trend here on ETH on the daily is looking bearish. Um, again, signified by the Stokes pointing downward. RSI pointing downward and below our 12 day moving average. And, and we're seeing that the BWDB is pointing upward and we could see a bit more downside. I'm thinking it may very well come close to or bounce off of the 3,786, but the next high level might be down here at 3,545. And so, no, that was a daily. And then, you know, finally, let's just move to the four hour. Let's see where we're sitting at here. Sorry, let's get the four hour here as well. So here on the four hour, let's see. Four hour on the Stokes, saying that we are into the oversold area um, here as well. So you might want to see a little bit of a, a bounce going back up. RSI is in the bearish control zone, but only what seems to be slightly, seems to be kind of slowing down, which is also shown here in the BWP, which for the most part is starting to point back up with some interest, but yeah, we have to see how it plays out in the next number of hours. At least on here though, we are seeing, you know, a bit more of a dreaded, yeah, there's our high, there's our lower high, a lower high. We did, you know, and then that also sees that we're looking at a just about lower low, 
spin and coming back up again here. So at least this previous part, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's just marked by this consolidation. I think that's what we're looking at here. And so I think honestly, it might be worthwhile to look into building a channel. Uh, might be a way to you know, find opportunity to do a little bit of scalping while you know the market continues to find its way. But yeah, I mean, I suppose that would be here at the 4,777. And we could probably look at, yeah, it's about here, here about 3,998. So perhaps, I mean, if this is a hold, you know, 3,976 or 98. If it doesn't hold, then you know, our next lowest price target Let's put here. And we very well could be looking at 3,876. Um, and if that breaks back to that, then we're going to fly down 3,599, uh, which would be, you know, just going to strengthen the bearish um, direction that we've been going here. In light of this, uh, we can also look at the VAP VR. They can also help dictate where the next points of control and resistance might be. We are below the point of control. And we are hitting the bottom. That's 3,973 of this part of the VAP VR. Uh, we do want to see this hold. Um, if it breaks, then that might be a significant concern. But there's more activity or interest going up between this channel here as drawn by my lines 4777 and 998 and so you know perhaps if you want to time your buy because we are oversold um i mean you could be looking if the market were to turn around bwp so to point up it gets more interest perhaps then you might be able to consider you know, even, you know, this might be a bit of a, um, let me just pull this up here. This might be considered the low. And then if you get in near the next number, a few days, I imagine, unless we have an absolute blowout, 18% might be something you might be looking you could potentially make. But, um, you know, in any case, you typically want to see something more bullish and in a golfing candle to the right side, maybe two. And that's where you will have an understanding whether or not this gets start going, trending back upwards again. Um, and if this is the case, with the most recent, most local high and local low. But yeah, yeah, this gets just be the set for your targets. Um, yeah, I mean, so you, you can put it in the buy order and put it down here at 3,855. Or um, it looks like, you know, with these clothes, it is in a slight uptrend as well. So it could be worthwhile to consider buying around here at 4,079, considering if we have a couple engulfing candles pointing to the upside, and we might, you know, once we break past this 4,213, we might see. You know, a hit to the top, but we have to see how the market market is going to play out at that point. But all right, yeah, that's that's an idea here of Ethereum and BTC. You know, they are both um, they're both bullish long term on the monthly, but here in the shorter term, particularly the daily, we're seeing a lot more consolidation going on, a lot more uh, indecision, or maybe a little bit of fear, and um, you know, maybe here on the four hour, we see a bit closer to the um, oversold portion. And so if you can time it right, keep your eye on the market, there might be an opportunity to put money in um, and make a little bit of a scalping trade. But also always remember, this is not financial advice. So everything I just said here, this is just for your own amusement, it's for your own 
entertainment and uh, um, maybe a catalyst for your own research. So do take it with a grain of salt, you know, um, you know, hopefully you got something out of this video about uh, how the market is looking, how you might want to play it. If you have any comments, please, you know, like, subscribe, ask for comments in the comment section as well, hit the bell notification. So you'll be the first to know when the next videos come out. Um, you know, this has been Crypto Club, ugh, sorry, Crypto Club here on the daily close. And uh, you know, I look forward to our next TA video with you. Until then, it's pumpy with you.